Hey guys, today I am going to be putting together a Game of Thrones uh, Middle Earth model. This is the Middle Earth Iconics. Um, this one is the Iron Throne. Hope you can see it okay. That's what it looks like. Um, I don't have my, my webcam, my face cam on, but I do have the overhead cam. So hopefully you'll be able to see it. This is going to be my first try using this setup. Uh, I've got my tools all laid out. Don't need glue. Just left that out for my box. Um, so I got my tools laid out over here. Got my um, I got my regular one times reading glasses on now, and I've got my three times just in case I need to get a little closer. Um, and my pliers and my cutters, everything like that. So let's get started. I'll probably play some music. I might talk a little bit here and there, but um, I might talk about what I'm doing. I'll try my best to remember to if I need to do closer, get get up right up next to this and and be able to show it. So um, we'll we'll try it out. So let's open it up. I'm going to play some music, like I said, and um, we'll just go for it. And the title of the song will be at the top. Always make sure you get everything out of there. Very important. Get everything out of the wall. My, my biggest complaint about these, I always wish, I know it's easier for them to print it, but I wish this sheet uh, where it shows uh, the different sheets and where the pieces are, I wish that was a separate piece of paper to where you could always have that separate because like on this page, I've got, I'm fine. But once I go to the other page, I'm going to have to flip them back and forth between this and that to see the numbers. And it's kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of annoying. Whatever. Let's see, which one's A? And see. Some of these songs I might skip too. Just to let you know. Like that one. Not really in the mood to hear that. I had to go get my light. I forgot to get that because I couldn't see.
Missed one. The first couple ones you line up. Get it going. Well, the thumb part starts flipping it back and forth. What I used to do is get the, I see what numbers I need. So I need a, a three. Two three. And yeah, and then I'll just go find them. Threes is a 
green one. There's a three. There's a three. And the four is right. Gotta make sure you get the correct spacing before you start bending things, putting them in place.
is a tough one. tough one because you have to kind of get it in there kind of strange and then you have to poke this one above this bent over and you really can't see from the picture what it's going to look like that's probably the back isn't it? I don't know we'll see
It was easier just bending with the pliers.
don't draw any attention to all the crazy things that I shouldn't mention. Not really sure, but it feels like my feet are glued to the floor. Don't wanna open up my mouth, cause I'm afraid of what's gonna come out. Thumbs down that one. really does not want to go in there.
Finally got the sucker. Trying to smooth out this curve. I had to fix the port. I actually put that in the wrong spot. I had to move that over. And boy, it was a, a bear to get it back in there. They did not want to go.
tell you what, one thing it's not clear on either is which direction it bends. It shows it. I'll show you. The curve of the blue. You can't tell if it's curving backwards or forward. Well, now I know it's curving backwards, and I don't think it said. Yeah, it didn't give you any directions on curvature of the lines, if it's up or down or whatever, whether it goes. Yeah, that curve is the same as that curve. That one went, I guess that went back too. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. But we know this one goes backwards from the previous one. out the next few that I'm going to be working on.
Lots of depth. seat part it looks like
so sturdy and so stout. Missed a step, I gotta go back and do it. Luckily they didn't, nothing on the other one attached to it, so wouldn't have been able to do it anyway, but yeah, missed a step.
Now we'll get the seat flattened out and we'll just put the back on. I think we're done. Attach this first and then attach the rear back. So attach it from first.
I like how they made it to where the top part, you just bend these things over to hold them in place. Because they knew there's no way you're going to get all these lined up. You just basically push them around to hold them together. Because there's no way you could have got those all lined up. I can't imagine how you get them all lined up. We're almost done with it. That came out pretty cool. I like that. Worst by, part by far was the back. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I know it took a little while to get it through it, and hopefully you can see some enough detail to it. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed. I'll, I'll probably move some of these swords around just to where they they're, um, they look a little bit better. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. And if you like uh, Metal Earth models, then uh, you should try you out one. Don't get one like this because this one's. Uh, a little bit more difficult, but um, get one of the simpler ones like the characters. The 3D characters are pretty easy. Um, you know, it, any of the, like the Marvel, they've got a, uh, the Marvel Avengers and the, um, they go Disney characters and stuff like that. Start with one of those, a butterfly. That's pretty straightforward. Um, start with those and then move your way up to these if you enjoy that. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time.